So, me and Babe are going to go to, we're going to go to my hometown and we're going to get steak burritos and other stuff. Or whatever else. What, whatever. We're about to do whatever. But we're going straight to the Mexican restaurant for steak burritos. My hair look extra red today. I mm, drove my car in a couple of days. <sighs> Take my purse off. I need to get another phone holder for real. Come and talk to me. I really wanna. But um, you're gonna get some food. Keep my scarf on my head though. Put the scarf on today because we just keeping it simple. It's a little chilly. See, it's a, it's a nice chilly 47 today in Michigan. So, still bundle up. You know? But yeah, we about to go and get some food because we want us some Mexican food. And this area, it's not doing it for me. Like, I haven't found my equivalent to what we about to go get like i haven't found it here in the area that i stay in so i need it i need my steak i'm sorry i, I like my red meat I, I like a little bit red meat here and there you know ain't no wrong with that no wrong with it you know but yeah like that's what we about to go do I'm willing to travel for food. Like, it's it's not a game. I take food that seriously. I cook it, but I also love to eat. I might not be able to finish my plate, however, but I love to eat. Like, we can go out to eat big. Like, I love leftovers. That's the best part of eating is the leftovers because they always taste better the next day. Tell me they don't. You're about to be looking. But yeah, tell me they don't. Tell me leftovers don't taste, they don't taste better the next day. I know they do. You ain't even got to, but I know they do. Like, that's, that's, it's just that. You know? But yeah, just waiting on Babe. Like, we're just waiting on him, and then we're gonna go. For real. I ain't drove my car in a couple of days, so I'm just letting it warm up is good, too, so. Hope y'all have a good day. It's Super Bowl Sunday. I don't do much on that day, but I'm going to get some food. Heading where? So, anywhere near Ben Harbor? No. Well, well, where are you going? <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, this is us arriving to my hometown. Now, when you get off the exit, so the, the nearest exit to get to La Perla is going to be messed up. The streets are fucked up. And don't mind my windshield because I think I got bad luck on windshields or something. Because it's like my third windshield that I'm going to have to get replaced because of a crack. So forgive me if I'm not in a rush to get it fixed. But just know, I will. I'm just tired of having to fix it. <laughs> now this is La Perla. We're going to go in here and get our Mexican food. We're going to get um steak burritos and chicken tacos. Mm -hmm. Ooh, we made it. To Benton Harbor, Michigan. Oh, they got, oh, they got a strawberry harito. That's probably fire. Yeah, let me get that strawberry Jones. So you definitely got to get a bed first. And the haritos, them drink, them pops, those just go perfect with the food, you know? perfect so this is us heading to the back now this is the menu of course the menu literally i always come for steak burritos but today's gonna be the first time we tried a chicken taco and i was like not expecting it to be i i don't know what i was expecting but look at that it got some kind of special sauce on it never knew about that but it's so fire o m jizzle okay o m j it was so good. It was better than I expected. I never tried a chicken taco for as long as I've lived in Ben Harbor. Like, like I said, it's my hometown. Never tried it. Fire. Mm. Tastes good cilantro at the end. Mm -hmm. That good. Oh, 
bury it. Woo! The body saw. I got a medium because I know myself. Because I got the taco. All I need is a medium. Yeah, you're a little beefier. Yeah. <laughs> mm. Worth the 40 minute drive every fucking time, bro. Every every time. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I got some shit going on. It's worth a 40 minute drive. Mm-hmm. Mm There's so much pressure, fam. That's what I be saying until that's I could that can be found. This needs to be equal to this. Even the taco. Like that was my first time trying the chicken taco. And that was crazy. I don't know what kind of sauce that is they put on that thing, but they they doing something. They do everything they need to do. They got a lot. Y'all see the steak on this thing? That thing loaded. Loaded. It's not again. They got it a lot. Well, you can't have nothing like this in the house. And then the cheese? That cheese hit you in your... In your sh real quick. Woo! Oh, they got that. Oh, they got that cheese I like on the thing. Okay. So they going on a tour? I see that cheese on there. So what, what's that about, sis? I want to go. I, just don't, I wouldn't understand a lot going on no Mexican tour. A Spanish tour. Mexican tour. Go. Motherland. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Just can't shit, drink the water. This shit's so good, it's crazy. <coughs> it mm -mm. Woo! I live here, I've been a bit soft. I used to. I used to. It wasn't as often, often, because it did When then with me, I'm different because if I get a taste of something, I could eat it for like days. You know what I'm saying? Like, I told you it was one time. I, all I wanted was Twizzlers when I was in college. I didn't want no real food. I just, I probably ate just like a little meal, a small meal. But the Twizzlers, that was the highlight of the day. I was getting them things daily. Like, if I get a taste for something, I'm going to eat it every day. That's how I go. I won't eat nothing else but that. Because that's why I'm, why, what I'll be thinking about. With the burrito, I used to come often, but not that often, I guess. Because it took me a minute before I even found out about this. Out of my... Okay, so I technically was born in Kalamazoo. I was born in Kalamazoo. I was raised here. So in my years of living in this city... Granted, it took me a minute to be even into Mexican food because I was a picky eater as a child. I didn't eat tomatoes and onions. Like, if I was going to get a burrito, I ain't want nothing on it. So, my first time getting this, I ain't get, I had everything on it. I ain't get no onions. I ain't get no tomatoes. I got it as plain as possible just to see. Like, before. Then I had to get stuff on it. Like... I used to be plain as hell. It was actually somebody I used to be friends with. She told me about it first. And I'm like, 
steak burrito. That's all everybody was talking about was the steak burrito. And I'm like, shit, let me go in. Let's go get one in. The fuck? I'm gonna try it. That shit is so good. That might have been the best chicken taco I've had. Oh, wow. What is that sauce, though? That, that shit never crazy, had that. man. Never had that. Literally never had that. I, mean, I swear I'll make this drive any day. I mean, think about it. From the crib to the south side where Los Brothers used to be, it's about 15 minutes. Mm -hmm. What's an extra 25 minutes? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> That's nothing. Okay. Oh, That's a they, they keeping it together. Ain't no new staff. No, they always say the same. Yeah. They've been saying the same for years. It don't matter who's staff is. You see motherfuckers pulling up. It's mixed. You get half Mexican people, half other people. <laughs> Cause the Mexicans they be that actually shopping this bitch. You know. This they grocery store. This is basically equivalent to the they hood store. Except they got actual you can buy meat in that bitch. I wanna try their meat though, especially they steak. I need to get some steak from them. It makes some like I don't know, like a crunch wrap or something. Make you some with some steak. I don't know. I mean you can get the steak wherever. You know. I want it but if I want it Mexican Mexican, I would I'd rather be worth worth it. We just gotta make sure it's seasoned. That's, that's one of the differences in here. So now I'm in the stove. Ooh. I'm trying to, I want something sweet. I just don't know what. I originally came for, I seen that they had this Hudsonville strawberry, Um, what was it? It was strawberry pound cake ice cream. And that shit sounds fire, but they is out. I don't see nothing Hudsonville up here except for the nasties. And I don't want the nasty stuff. I'm gonna get some ice cream. I need that shit to be good. We go with that. <laughs> My cart is very noisy. I don't like that. All right, let me hurry up so I can get up out of here. They got black on. I know these good because the ice cream good. Ooh, I knew it. I knew it was coming. I might end up trying this one first though. That might be real good. Hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. And I'm back. I'll always be back though, so. Thanks for watching.